Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to upload your products onto Noon. And without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, we're going to go to Seller Lab Noon and log in into our account. If you don't have an account already, uh, you can watch my uh, previous video that I made on how to register on Noon. I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to uh, check it out. So now I'm going to enter my uh, login details. And now here's the sellers panel. So on the left side, you can see we got uh, different categories like core, store, catalog, warehouse, and tell. I'm going to get an, uh, make an in-depth video on how to navigate through this panel. But for now, I'm just going to stick to the main goal, is, uh, which is how to upload products onto Noon. So there are two methods. Uh, the first method is easy. Uh, if your product is already existing on Noon, so someone else has already uploaded and uh, is selling that product, you just go ahead to Catalog, you go to Noon's Catalog, and in here you can search it up. So you can search, let's for example say Dior Perfumes, this is the product you want to sell. So we're going to select the perfume you want. It's going to re request you for a uh, stock keeping unit. Um, SKUs are used uh, by many establishments to keep uh, track of their inventory. If you don't have one, no need to panic. You can just create one for yourself. Um, I'm going to create one for myself. For example, my shop is called Mohammed Sidat, and I'm going to create a SKU called MS1. So then we hit create and we're going to come here to the offer. So the title is going to stay the same. Uh, we can enter our price here. So let's say we want to sell this perfume for 550 drums. If you want to go ahead and uh, have a sale price, you can enter your sale price here. Next thing we're going to do is uh, enter our stock. So how many of these perfumes we have in stock and we want to sell? For example, let's say 10. This is the processing time. So how long will it take for you to make the perfume ready? Will it be ready same day? Will it take one day, two, three, four? And let's just say same day. And also, as you can see, my warehouse is already selected here. So if you are selling out of Noon Warehouse or if you're selling out of your warehouse, you can click on here on the drop down and select your warehouse. So these are the Noon Warehouses that are available across UAE. And if you're selling out of one of their warehouses, you can click here and add that warehouse. Next, you're going to need a barcode. So whatever barcode is on the product, if you're selling a product, uh, well, if you're selling a product that doesn't have a barcode, uh, I'm going to show you a way uh, in future video on how to obtain a barcode and barcode your products. But uh, usually branded products, they all come with a barcode. So you can look at the packaging and find that number and enter it here. Uh, in UAE, they usually use the EAN standard, EAN standard, and in North America, for example, they use UPC. So whichever I think you enter, you will be fine here. And then you hit add barcode, and then you got your warranty information, if, you're, if your product does offer warranty, and then your offer note. So if you want to talk about the features of the product, uh, things that are special, there are actually other tabs here like content, um, then there is health, there are deals, so we're not concerned about that. And after that, you can save the changes and go ahead and create this listing. I'm not going to do that because obviously I, I don't have stock of this product and I don't sell this product. So I'm going to hit back. After you created your product, the product's going to show up here on your uh, partner catalog. So this is the product we just created. As you can see, it is inactive and not live. So another way to access it is through here. You come to your partner catalog and this is where the, this is our SKU. This is the noon, uh, Noon's SKU. And then uh, we didn't create this product. Actually, that's why it's inactive and not live. So this is how you upload a product that 
it, you add a product that is already existing unknown. Now on to uh, the other method, which for example, your product doesn't exist unknown, you're selling your own brand, etc. So you go on to catalog and then you go to um, imports. You come over here to new imports. You're gonna select NIS, NIS create. And here, depending on the category you're, you're selling your products on, you can select them right here. So the family of the product, let's say we're selling a fragrance. So we're gonna search for that category right here. Then we're gonna go to the product type, it's a fragrance. And the subtype, as you can see, we have different options here, like a body mist, a clone, etc. So I'm gonna just gonna pick clone. And then I'm gonna hit the download NIS sheet. So I'm gonna come here to downloads and I'm gonna click on the NIS sheet. I'm gonna enlarge it so we can get a better view here. So as you can see here, we have two color options. One is green and one is orange. So the green cells are mandatory. You have to fill them out in order for your uh, products to be processed and your listing created. Um, the orange ones, as you, as it mentions, are optional. So you do not have to uh, enter them. So G10 is your barcode. So you're gonna enter your the barcode of your product here, uh, your SKU here. So this is similar to the other example. If you don't have one, you can make one for yourself. Just call it MS1. Um, then the brand of the product, let's say you're selling a Calvin Klein perfume. And then your product title. Um, this is actually really important. Make sure you can select the product title that has keywords. Uh, keywords are words that the customer would search. Like if you were looking for a Calvin Klein perfume, for example, or a clone, you would search Calvin Klein, uh, the model name, for example, I don't know what models exist, uh, etc. So make sure you have few good keywords in your title. Um, so your products are easily searchable. And your products are shown to people who are looking for it. And then this is the size of the perfume. So how many milliliters is it? So is it a 50 mil? Is it 100 mil? So let's just say 50. We come here, there's a drop down, it's milliliters, the country of origin, let's pick France, wherever your product's actually made in. I'm gonna say France for this, right here. And it's the department, so is it is it for kids, men, unisex, women, so I'm gonna hit unisex. Then the model number for your product and model name, this is usually on the packaging, then the scent, and let's just say it's their variety options here. So we'll, we're gonna select citrus. Then what are the notes? Like the top note, the I think middle note it is, then the base note, etc. So you can just give more details about the smell to your customer so they can easily understand uh, what they will be getting. And the item condition, obviously it's gonna be new. I think there's only one option and the item grade, it's also new. So in, in here, you can talk about the features of the product. It's shown as optional here, but for some other products are mandatory. You, you, you have to write a feature, but for perfumes, I think there's kind of self-explanatory, so you don't need to um, write many features for, for it. But I suggest you still do, for example, talk about what seasons this perfume is good for, uh, et cetera. And then here you have to create image links for the image of your product. And as you can see, it's mandatory to have two images at least for your product. And uh, I suggest actually operating, uploading more image just to give uh, the customer a better idea of what they're buying and make make the sales process actually easier. If you don't know how to, if you don't know how to create image links, I'm gonna hopefully make a tutorial on that as well uh, soon. And next we have are the recommended retail price. So you can see here, this is the recommended retail price in um, AE, so that's dirhams. So you're gonna enter the product 550 dirhams. 
you can select it. it this is in Saudi Arabian real so we're gonna say 550 Saudi Arabian reals and then this is Egyptian pounds so how much will it be in Egyptian pounds I don't have any idea I'm just gonna hit a number let's just say 300 Egyptian pounds then you have your HS code which is not necessary you don't need to fill out and then you come here to the green option which is the family so we picked fragrance the type was also fragrance the subtype was clone and this section it says it's what's in the box so what what's what's actually in the box um, you can just say one piece of Calvin Klein clone I'm actually typing capital but I suggest you type in a non -cat capital uh, and yeah that's it so once you've done that you're gonna save it and then uh, after you saved it you come back to your uh, noon um, seller panel and then you go ahead to file upload and you drop that document here and then uh, noon seller support is going to receive it it usually it used to take three weeks for the products to be processed but I think they've reduced that time to one week now which is great and uh, that's it also one more thing to mention you can just after you finish your first product you can go ahead and add your second product the same way enter the barcode enter the partner SKU etc and just keep going you can use this sheet for as many as products as you want it just doesn't have to be one and that's it if you have any questions please leave them in the comment below if you like the video uh, please subscribe it means a lot and thank you guys for watching